Uh, welcome to a, another short video. Um, in this video I have a new uh, uh, hot air rework station um, made by this company here. I will try to pronounce it. Uh, Ao Wu. Uh, uh, forgive me if it's been correct. Um, made in China. Uh, bought it for a com company in Germany and um, I got it for about 136 euro which seems very cheap. Uh, I'm going to unbox it now and have a look at it, um, see is it genuine or is it fake. Um, I don't know how good it is at the moment but uh, it was just uh, too cheap to be true. Um, let's start now by unpacking it. And what have we got? Uh, instruction book. Uh, we won't bother reading that. And uh, some kind of pick up. Uh, um, tool for picking up ICs and components and then we have four nozzles in the bag yeah. and one bands lead uh, it's got a European uh, standard uh, plug in it I would have to change that to uh, a UK type uh, as I'm in Ireland. Now let's have a look at it. Just check the box, make sure I'm not throwing an out anything. It's empty now. Pretty nice. Okay. Sits into its uh, all that nicely. Okay. Rid of the uh, package it. Okay. For now, what I'll do is I'll borrow a lead off one of my other uh, solid irons. Here. There's a shipping screw that has to be removed at the bottom of the station before turning it on. Okay, that's very important. Find this shipping screw. this one okay take that one aside put a nozzle on it Very small one. I would imagine that's for dealing with like some mobile phones. But for our purposes, I'm going to go to a kind of medium sized one because I got bored here and I'm just going to see how it works on it.
powered up and off it goes if the air flow seems to be set for 35 uh, let's see what the uh, nozzle temperature is 131 uh, degrees so let's see can we get any, any higher I'm just going to experiment with the uh, 240 degrees um, onto the board there. The chip I'm going to attempt to take off first is this one here. And uh, I'm going to put a bit of flux on it first. Help it. I should really put some um, leaded solder on it, which would make it uh, um, melt before the rest of the components around it, because the rest of the components are unleaded and it melts at a higher melting point. Uh, but let's just do it this way. This is the hardest way of doing it, so we're going to give this a try. I'm going to heat the board first. At 240 degrees, it doesn't seem to be moving. Uh, let's give it a little bit more. Bring it up to 300 degrees, and we'll uh, see what happens. Uh, this time, I think what I'll do though is. Uh, or should I? No, I, I won't. I will just go the way I'm doing it now at the moment. Um, and uh, just put a little bit more flux on it. Flux. tape down the board with a bit of tape as well. Sorry about that. Nothing you about. Makes a bit of noise. But uh, I have worked with louder ones than this. Um, same brand. Just a larger older machine it was. But uh, it didn't look out very well. Just something to hold it to the bench for him. Stop it sliding away. <laughs> Thank you. 
sheet and all of this. Plus there is glue on the bottom of these. It's going to ruin the board now. 20. I don't think I'll bring it up any more than that. The airflow is at 50%. Big enough I see compared to some of them have taken off. So, it did come off. Let's have a look now at the pad area. My piece. It is the first time that I've used it, so I have to uh, get used to the different temperatures, the different flows. For uh, the IC, I don't know if that's focusing in or not there, but uh, that's look okay. Not too bad but for my first attempt with that machine. Uh, let's see, just taking off a small component. Uh, I think I better turn down the temperature and the, uh, the airflow for a small component. Turn it back down, so I'm going the wrong way. Up, down. A bit of a vibration from it. Uh, let's see what we can get. There is a capacitor here. I'm just going to take the capacitor off. Yes, they're uh, very handy for taking off capacitors. Quick as that. Uh, do we have any of those surface mounted? Uh, let's get this uh, the lead prong. Looks like a lead prong, but uh, I don't know why it is be true for. Let's 
this probably needs a little bit more temperature and a little bit more airflow. Need a better uh, tweezers. It's quite good. We got a couple of transistors in here now. Let's see, can we remove these? See, we're getting them. We show them the shot. Very good. Tell you here. Yes, uh, lower temperature there for the uh, small components is adequate. I'd have to get used to uh, setting it to the right airflow and the right temperature for the different size chips, and that'll only come with uh, experience uh, from using it. Um, I, I hear a lot of people saying set it to six, seven on different uh, stations, but that means not when you go to a different station. Time will tell uh, how good this uh, uh, hot air station is, uh, uh, how it performs. And I will do an update in the future. I will just show a few more uh, removal techniques for different uh, ICs um, in the future with this uh, piece of equipment. Uh, thanks for watching.